Okay, so I just found something on Twitter, and it's the most funniest fucking shit ever. Um, it's also the most retarded thing I think I've seen, and the most shadiest shit ever. So there's this thing, there's a thing trending on Twitter called the Freedom Phone, and it's actually kind of funny because it's so fucking funny to see through this like scam. It's like, all right, cool. It starts off well, and then it gets to the shady part. Name one time in history where the people who banned books, media, and opinions were the good guys. Hi. Well, I mean, there's also that sometimes where, like, the winners also, like, they erase things from history because it's not part of their beliefs, but go on. I'm Eric. I'm the world's youngest Bitcoin millionaire. What? What does that have to do with, like, making the freedom phone? I made it in Silicon Valley, and I've accomplished a lot in my life already. But now, I'm leaving big tech to fight for free speech. Good fucking luck with that, because you're fighting against Google, Twitter, Facebook, and if I remember correctly, also maybe Amazon. So, yeah, good fucking luck with that. You're fighting against literal multi-billionaire corporations, even Apple, too. Like, you can't win against Apple. Good fucking luck trying to fight multi-billion dollar corporations as a, as a multi-millionaire. Because the big tech overlords are violating your privacy, censoring your speech, and I think that's so wrong. This is the only part where I think I kind of agree with him. But it's like some of these like uh, some of these social medias actually have a TOS where it's like if you agree with it, then you agree not to send. You agree like not to send death threats, not to send harassment, not to send like anything that breaks guidelines, anything like that. That's why we have a problem with um with Twitter. That's why Donald Trump got fucking banned cuz he actually was like posting a lot of provocative stuff, saying a lot of crazy shit too. That's why I created the Freedom Phone and its uncensorable app store. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Hold up. There's so many of these around. I'll just go to Gearbest. It looks like a black red me. I'm sorry. It looks like a black red me. Let me see if I could get the black one. Yep, there it is. With the fucking uh, uh, screen protector too on it. That's what it looks like. Let me, hold up, let me pull this up. Oh, wait, except that the buttons are reversed. Okay. But that's pretty funny. It looks like those generic Chinese phones that you see on, on like, any market with that fucking, uh, uh, with the buttons and the teardrop no uh, notch and shit like that. This is nothing innovative. Everyone is complaining about big tech censorship, but no one is doing anything about it. They say, build your own phone. So I did. Freedom Phone truly is the best phone in the world. It does everything your current phone does. Uh, it does everything your current phone does. Except censor you and spy on you. With Unfortunately, that's impossible to do. Because once people download Facebook, that's it. Or once people download Discord, period. Or any fucking social media app, period. Even Amazon. If you download Amazon, Amazon will actually spy on you. So there's no point in this. The Freedom Phone, your freedom of speech is our number one priority. That's why we built our own app store. I feel like this guy would be the one type of guy to actually censor people once they start making fun of his face. Because, dude, you look like the fucking Yeti without fur. It is completely uncensored. If an app you love has been banned from the mainstream app stores, you can still download it. On These apps look sketch as fuck. The fuck is a Patreon app store? I've never heard of that. On ours, because we don't ban apps, period. And we've developed the first operating system based on your free speech. There's no app tracking, no keyboard tracking, and no location tracking. Because I believe... That's unfortunate, because it doesn't matter if you have GPS turned on or off, the government always knows where you are. Always. 
doesn't matter. I don't understand this. People that think that, oh my God, I don't want to be sp- like located where I'm at. Doesn't matter. If you make that simple call, just any call, there you go, you're tracked. Even if you have GPS turned on or off, doesn't matter. Leave in your security. How do we ensure you're being protected? Say hello to Trust. Trust is our privacy guard. Okay, um, I gotta look this up. What the fuck is Trust? No, that's not it. It's designed to warn you whenever an app or a website is tracking you and gives you the option to stop it. Your data, your rules. That's our motto. Um, I wouldn't trust an app that actually dis- disables stuff like that. Because if it knows that the website is tracking me, how do I trust it that it's not tracking me? Because if I remember correctly, a certain antivirus that I'm using right now. Yeah, a vast company shuts down its data harvesting arm after getting caught left handed. When a vast gets fucking caught red handed. Literally harvesting your data and selling it. How the fuck are we supposed to trust anything that's supposed to protect us from harvesting our data? The Freedom Phone is comparable to the best smartphones on the market. That's a hard fucking doubt, especially when we go when we go to the website. Where where's the specs? Where's the specifications of the phones? Are you telling me that this phone is better than a fucking Sony? Xperia 1 Mark III. You're fucking lying. It has an edge-to-edge screen, a super-fast processor, and multiple cameras. That's just sugarcoating the phone. Just saying that doesn't make it good. What if the phone has, like, 4 gigs of RAM and, like, 32 gigs of storage? 32 gigs of storage is not enough, my guy. A lot of people download a lot of apps, like fucking games and shit like that, and probably took a lot of photos, too. So if your phone has a good photo, a good camera, a really good camera, like, you know, Google Pixel, and has 32 gigs of storage, people are going to be forced to just buy extra space. So, no, that doesn't make it good. And your SIM card transfers into the Freedom Phone SIM. Not only that, but this phone's already loaded with bloatware. So, take that. Honestly. Big tech companies hold a monopoly on public communication and the dissemination of information, and they are abusing that power. Nobody elected Mark or Jack to be the arbiters of truth in America. If they okay, so I'm going to go with this first. I kind of agree with them that big tech companies are holding, like, are abusing their powers and, like, censoring truth and shit like that. But Mark Zuckerberg actually got into a lot of fire when uh, Facebook started censoring uh a lot of political posts that don't violate the 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 terms and service and Jack Dorsey my man's going to lose fucking Twitter one of these days because he's really running that shit down to the ground not only that but Twitter is a fucking cesspool <laughs> what a fucking face I still thought it was okay to ban a sitting president from their platforms the real Donald Trump is the worst example to use. Donald Trump is very inflammatory, very controversial, and very, very, very racist. I'm sorry. That guy shouldn't hold anything to a kernel of truth. Not only that, but this man actually threw out a lot of conspiracy theories sent a lot of fucking people to the Capitol to riot over there. He was all a part of that. Now, when I, s- when, when I want to bring a good example of a president who's not banned, fucking Obama. Obama isn't banned. <laughs> Why? Because he's not a fucking racist idiot that says a lot of bigoted shit. If they censor a president, they will censor anyone. Imagine if Mark Zuckerberg censored MLK or Abraham Lincoln. The thing is, Mark Zuckerberg would never censor MLK because MLK literally taught us not to be racist or not to judge people by the skin of their color. And fucking Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln 
was it freed the slaves? So he's more so rewarded. And not only that, but like even if he was alive to this day, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be saying some bigoted slash inflammatory stuff. Yet the course of history would have been altered forever. Out of all the constitutional amendments, there's a reason why the founding fathers made the right to free speech the very first. I believe you have a voice. That Funny you say the founding father. Uh, didn't Donald Trump wanted to ban slash like get a bunch of media companies like a arrested or taken down? Like, isn't that violating the first um, of one of the uh, not the first amendments, but one of the amendments like the freedom of? So he, okay, so yeah, it is the amendment. He'd be violating the First Amendment. Yeah, Trump literally wanted to violate the First Amendment. Deserves to be heard without being censored. Protect yourself from big tech censorship. Let your voice be heard. Live free with the Freedom Phone. This is such a fucking... No, it's, it's straight up conservative, like thinking of like marketing. He's actually trying to get people to fucking get scammed, and I I feel sorry for those people who actually bought these phones. Scrolling, not to be mean, but went to your site and there's no spec sheet on the phone. Like, are you using a Sony sensor for the camera? What about the display? OLED or, or is it standard LCD? I know that's being nitpicky, but seriously, even OnePlus had this stuff on their phone sites for day one. Congratulations, the Freedom Phone is trending, and that is unfortunate. You will never hit a significant market while pushing me this message. I like the idea, but you've already killed it. I agree. Lamao, China. This is $450. This $450 American Freedom Phone comes with a pre-installed parlor, yet made in China. Right. This is about as secure as a bunch of teenage cheerleaders at <laughs> a Matt Gates sleepover. Oof. Yeah, this is fucking stupid. And you want to know something worse? You oh, you are only able to buy this shit on their website. You can't buy it on Amazon. You can't buy it on any uh, on eBay. You can't buy it on AliExpress. You can't buy it on fucking Gearbest. You can't buy it anywhere except for their own websites. Gee, this reminds you of something. Which, as you can see, does not exist. And any of these you see, like look at this one. This is the video from the Escobar Fold 2, the latest one. Gee, this is weird. This, why are there no, why is the like to dislike ratio hidden? And what's this? Comments are turned off. What the fuck? That's what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of the Escobar phone all over again, except under a different fucking term, the Freedom Phone. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys take this as a lesson. Do not buy the Freedom Phone. It sounds like a fucking scam, and it probably is a scam. It's it's like the, the Escobar phone and Escobar fold over again. And I'm willing to bet that this is a fucking scam. And if it's not, it's a failed fucking business plan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed me making a very shitty cover of this. This is also my first time doing this, and I just got out of the shower, by the way. And I'm, like, kind of ready to just either just go to bed or just edit the last, uh, edit the video. Or, uh, not video, edit the live stream I did of, of Lost in Vivo. So, yeah. <laughs>